Both of them love Nintendo games and made this into a really fun movie. Are you ready? Uh, growing up, man, I spent hours of my life stomping Koopas. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! Oh no! And welcome to GT Not Live, where today, it's a big day. It's some Mario Day! Or I guess yesterday was Mario Day, but I was busy and working, and I didn't get a chance to watch the Mario movie, and so... That was really good. Uh, what? The it's a me? Yeah. It's a me, Mario! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm, I'm no rider. I'm no foot of a ferret, but I'm, I'm okay. Uh, thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah. Consider that my audition for the Mario movie too late. Missed it. Uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know, uh, big day here on the internet because the Mario movie, the Super Mario Brothers movie, just dropped its trailer. We, uh, in anticipation of the trailer dropping sooner rather than later, we actually did a Mario crossover weekend on both game theory and film theory. Because go figure, that's the sort of stuff that we cover here. And in this multimedia environment, it's really confusing to know where you put what. Because it's a game, but it's a movie. What do you do? You do one on both. Um, and I made some predictions, right? Uh, I made a prediction in there that uh, this is going to be Mario's origin story. Uh, that, you know, it's going to be the first time that we see Mario in the Mushroom Kingdom, that he's going to wind up there and kind of be surprised by winding up there. Uh, he's going to start the story in New York, be discontented with his life, at which point then he realizes, like, oh, he, he finds himself to be a hero in the Mushroom Kingdom and, and you know, finds his purpose. Uh, and then also the big swing of our Mario movie prediction was that the Mario movie was going to be a musical, yeah, uh, where we looked at the history of Illumination movies and said, hey, like, Illumination movies, even if they're not supposed to be musicals, they find ways to insert music in. Uh, there's a lot of reasons for that. One, music is just really good for kids. It's super rewatchable. But also, like, it allows them to then license out the music. And there's all sorts of, like, economic benefits to having that sort of thing, too, if you're an animated movie. Um, plus, when you look at Jack Black and Anya Taylor-Joy, and also the cast as a whole, but especially those two, uh, Jack Black playing Bowser and Anya Taylor-Joy playing Peach... Those two both are really good singers, uh, known for their singing uh, in certain circles. Jack Black, obviously, uh, incredibly famous for his singing. So, um, with the Tenacious D, uh, the, the Tenacious D, that's, that sounds appropriate. I think he would appreciate me calling it the Tenacious D. Um, but a lot of musical stuff in his work. So, we were like, okay, here's our, here's our, like, wild card shoot for the fences part of the theory is not only is it an origin story, not only are we going to see, like, this evolution of Mario, but in the end, it's going to be a musical and it's going to blow everyone's mind. So that is the framework that we were working with. Lo and behold, uh, the trailer actually came out closer to the reveal of our theories than we expected. We're like, oh, we got to get this out because we're pushing time. They're going to release a trailer at some point. And lo and behold, it, it happened uh, pretty quickly. Um, so, woo, got that one out right by the skin of our teeth. Nailed it. That would have sucked to have those two scripts come out like the day after this. Um, but the trailer is out now. There was a whole 45-minute Nintendo Direct, I guess, that was talking about it. And I missed it uh, because, you know... I have life things to do. Uh, so I thought it would be fun to sit down, have a live reaction slash theory crafting session with the trailer under the guise of like, hey, we just talked about this. How far off were we? Like, were we immediately debunked? Did we do okay? Did we hit it out of the ballpark? What have you. So Ash, you've pulled up the trailer as well as a couple of other things for me to react to. Rip the band-aid off, Ash. Tell me how bad it was. But Because I, I don't know. This one... <laughs> It's, it's tough, man. Like, I've, I was talking about this with Ash before we fired up the camera, but, like, the, the Mario, it's, it's tough because it's Mario, and Mario is purposely made to be a blank slate. He has, like, the blankest of slates. You know, even Mickey Mouse has more of a personality than Mario. Mario is just jump man. He is defined by the verb of what he does, and that verb is jumping, right? He is a mascot for a, like, very brand-safe, international conglomeration that is Nintendo. Luigi has personality. He's great. Daisy has per All the side characters are phenomenal. Mario himself is difficult to hang a narrative around because 
Nintendo has to be willing to give him, like, you know, angst or emotion or feeling. And when every, when <laughs> all that everyone knows about him is, yeah, just like joyful jumping, it's hard. And when you look at the roster of stuff that he's done in the past, you know, like, there's a reason we did the Mario is a sociopath theory way back in the day. It's because when you actually look at the times where Mario expresses any fragment of personality outside of, like, save the princess, which usually goes unspoken, or, like, I want cake, which is usually the impetus for saving the princess. Like, the only other times that you see him do stuff is, like, he grinds, you know, Luigi's shoe in Super Mario Power Tennis or whatever. When when Luigi wins and Mario goes up and he's like, hey, brother, and, like, grinds onto a shoe and it's like, what a jerk. Or, um... You know, in the early, early days, you see Mario whipping Donkey Kong because he's like the the circus ringleader, and it's like it's like it's just weird stuff. It's like why this is Mario's a strange character. So, on one end, I'm like, I think the side ki- my prediction getting into this right is that the side characters are gonna be like, oh yeah, that's great, but Mario himself, I don't know. And then you have Chris Pratt. He so, had an amazing Nintendo Direct moment, and did that's he? also a thing I have to show you. Really? Yes. A- an amazing Nintendo. I have a. <laughs> For you to describe Chris Pratt having an amazing Nintendo Direct moment, that I feel like that that, that doesn't was, bode well. It was amazing. Oh. It was it was revolutionary. Wow. So should I? Okay. So in your opinion, should I start with the trailer or this revolutionary Chris Pratt moment? Mm. Guide guide my journey. That's a good guide you know my what? journey through this. Ash. Why don't we Why don't we hype up the energy with the Chris Pratt clip? Oh, hype. <laughs> okay. Let's get the energy up. Um, so it I, should be in the direct itself. It's the, this thing. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, really? Yeah. All right. Wow, so it was, was it actually 45 minutes? No. It was like 40 minutes of buildup. Really? Yep. Like, okay, all right, here we go. Now, I'll introduce two of the stars from this movie. Both of them love Nintendo games and made this into a really fun movie. Are you ready? Uh, Growing up, man, I spent hours of my life stomping... Koopas. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh no! What? Oh no! They kept that in the edit too! Yeah. They, they could have cut that! They could have done the jump cut. <laughs> they could have just. This is the best! This is the best they got of Chris Pratt. Isn't it amazing? This is the stuff that made the edit. They're, he's like, you know what? Stomping a... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You can Koopas. see... You, you can see... Oh my gosh, you can see the like buffering wheel over his head in that moment. Oh wait, okay, sorry. I, yeah, yeah. That was such... I, got, I gotta Play see back. this. I gotta, I gotta see this again. Okay, chris son. Now, I'll introduce two of the stars from this movie. Both of them love Nintendo games and made this into a really fun movie. Clearly, clearly Chris Pratt loves Nintendo <laughs> games. Like, <laughs> clear, oh no! Clearly. Mm. Yeah. It is, it is also interesting, I, like, I hadn't really thought about this, but down here in the English version cast, it is interesting. I'm, wonder, I'm assuming that the Miyamoto stuff is just, like, cut in and then the casts kind of cycle in through the edit. So he's, like, recording a blanket statement for every cast ever. But, uh, yeah, clearly some of the cast is more fans than others, because Chris... Oh, boy. Oh, boy, this makes me nervous. Are you ready? I am. Uh, Growing up, man, I spent hours of my life stomping... (laughs) It is so long, I don't even have to try to find a place to pause it. Uh, Growing up, man, I spent hours of my life stomping... Koopas in the original Mario Brothers arcade game at my local laundromat. And then, of course, it came. He's like, where are you looking? Oh, no. Oh, what a mess. It's amazing. Oh, groundbreaking. You can you can actively like it feels like like, stop in. Give it, uh, stop in! Uh, it, uh, there's uh, an ooh sound in there. Uh, stop in! Who? Oh, Turtles? Ooh. No. Um. St- uh, give it to me! Give uh, it to me! Wait, lizards? No. No, no, no that's no. not good. Uh, 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 st- stop. Oompa, oompa, loompas. Oompas, oompa, oompa, loompa. Stop an oompa, loompa. Edit. Uh, 
So take again, Chris. Take again. He's like, I only got five minutes to film this. I don't have time to do this stupid promo video from my own home. I don't even have time to go to a decent room. We got blur. The Zoom blur background zoom really blur. does it for me. Right? It's like, come on. I don't know. Like, I get it, but I also don't. Like, I'm a busy person, and I have to do a lot of stuff like this, too. But, like... You go to like your filmings like you I'm sure you have a great house and you have like setups that you can anyway this was very clear like the manager's like Nintendo needs a, a line from you please submit a line and he's like well that's as good as it got Go, uh stop in uh, 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 uh goopies uh, flumbas stop in flumbas that's that's the thing stop in those flumbas wow I wow and they kept it and he didn't even retake it like damn it you are the chosen one! You are the chosen one, Chris, and this is what you got. I love that he doesn't even say, like, Goombas. You know, the thing that, like... Yeah! You, you, that, no, that's a good point, right? Like, you would think, like, stomping Co Goombas, stomping Goombas, stomping Koopas. Very clearly, it's interesting, I because up till this point, have Goombas been announced in this movie, or are they all Koopas? Ooh. And I don't know if the trailers are, but very... That moment reads to me as him very clearly like trying to go through the script in his head mm. and figure out what was a Nintendo, like what was a thing in the movie that was a word that at some point he had to like say. Film theory, a laundromat is in this movie. <laughs> no, the laundromat, it might be. If you want to see a sleigh though. Jack Black? Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure. Of course he is, because he comes to play. Yes. He knows the job. He does. He understood the assignment. Yeah, yeah, he understood the assignment, right? He knows. He's like, okay, I'm on camera. I'm promoting this for a bunch of gamers who care a lot. You know, and also, it's, it's, it's a big deal, man. Thank you, Chris, but I can't let you have all the fun. No, oh, don't worry, Jack Black. There was no fun being had. <laughs> I, 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 you know, thank you for your enthusiasm. Thank you for doing your best to, for the handoff, but... Let me tell you, there was no fun in that previous segment. Just the long, awkward pauses. Jeez. Oh, there's so many. Oh, this is amazing. Uh, also, some random guy, shout out to some random guy in, in the <laughs> chat, announced Dwayne The Rock Johnson as the Womp. Make it happen, please. Oh, that would... <laughs> Just like uh, Vin Diesel is Groot, you get Dwayne The Rock Johnson into the recording, and all he has to do, ur, ur, <laughs> and that's it, and he gets the credit. Cash him his fifty thousand dollar paycheck or whatever that would cost. Ur, ur. <laughs> By the way, speaking of Dwayne The Rock, did you know that Black Adam is coming out this year? Because I certainly didn't. Oh word! Yeah, I'm like, what? That's a movie that's still happening. Okay, great. I saw the release schedule coming up for the end of the year, and I'm like, oh, that's a thing. All right, all right. Dwayne The Rock is the mom. That would be amazing time for us to make this moment all about me. Please. While you've been dreaming about playing Mario, I've been preparing. Look at all this Koopa muscle I packed on. Yes. And this flowing mane doesn't just appear overnight. Do you have any idea how long it took me to learn how to breathe fire? I had to go learn it from Gene Simmons of Kiss. And all this <laughs> he had to learn from Gene Simmons of Kiss. Thank you, Jack. Oh, bless you. Bless your heart. Thank you for having some level of enthusiasm for, for this project and this job. Oh, man. Man! Jack Black kills it. Every time. Every time. I've, I've, uh, I've never actually interacted with him, but uh, I've been on charity streams where he's been a guest, and so I've been in, like, segments after him. Man, he carries it. What a pro. Love him. Also, a uh, huge fan of Five Nights at Freddy's, apparently. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was story. trending on TikTok for it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I could get him on the couch here and we could just sit and discuss FNAF lore. I need that. <laughs> I need that. Or or the two of us just read, like, excerpts from <laughs> from the novels. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> us reading excerpts from, like, the Fazbear Fright series. Oh! Oh! We need to make that happen. Oh my god, who do I need to contact? <laughs> Jack Black. <laughs> I mean, his, like, people, I, I, his people. No, his people won't give us... They'll be like, what's this? And they get to the man. This is the man who understands the assignment. Yeah. Hard work's been worth it, though. I am so proud to have been able to collaborate with you and Miyamoto-san 
as well as the entire Nintendo and Illumination team on this cinematic Great. experience. One that will make its mark on Mario fandom forever. See, yes. Much love. You, yes. 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 He understood the assignment. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Someone decided to show up to play today, not just cash in a check. Man. Oh, let's see me. Thank you, Chris-san, Jack-san. All right, then. Thank you all for waiting. Let's press the start button. Okay. okay. <laughs> I love it. Oh, amazing. Um, real quick here, we're gonna start this off. Uh, way, way back, a long-term, long-time game theory viewers will know that I've actually been fortunate enough to interview Miyamoto. Really? Yeah. It's, it's incredible. Like... <clears throat> there are certain people who exude, like, there's an X factor sometimes when you meet people, and there are certain people who just have this, like, aura or exude something about it, and, and it's it's very rare, and it's it's very few and far between, but, like, getting into the room with him and the, like, sheer energy of, like, joy and enthusiasm and, like, child childlike enthusiasm that he exudes. And this isn't me, like... You know, oh, he's like a hero from my childhood, or like I, you know, I, I've been a fan of his and his games, obviously, like instrumental in in a lot of my development. But like, it, it, you just walk into the room, and and the way he talks, and the way like, it, it it does, it exudes this sort of like enthusiastic, fun, carefree energy. It, it's wild. Um, so it's such a such a wonderful, wonderful uh, person, and it's so cool to see him. Still, like, still, like, lean in and still being able to do this. How old is he at this point? Because also when I... He is 69. Okay, yeah. I mean, awesome. I interviewed him, what, like, five years ago or something like that? So he was, you know, 60, 62, 63, somewhere around there. Um, 64, if I'm doing the math correctly. Um, but, yeah, just such a cool guy. Um, so enthusiastic about the stuff that he works on. So I, I'm, I'm hopeful. I've, between Jack Black and Miyamoto, I'm hopeful that this is going to be okay. So is this it? Yes. All right. Here we go. Oh, man. Whoo. I, 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 there's no like-dislike ratio anymore, so I can't tell. Oh, I also... Oh, no. They've turned off the comments. It is, it's on YouTube Kids. So that, I guess that makes sense. All right. Let's see. So I have no... I have nothing to go off of outside of those two. One good. <laughs> one... Koopas! Uh, so we'll see. It's not the Mushroom Kingdom. That's weird. Huh. Is it a ship? No, it is. It's literally a floating island. That makes me think of... What is that? Like, uh, Super Mario Brothers 3. Uh, where there's a whole, like, Bowser kind of, like, island in the middle of dinosaur land. Um... It's interesting that they're that they wouldn't go with like iconic Bowser ship, you know, because that's a, so. I'm oh sorry, I'm thinking of Super Mario Brothers, Su Super Mario World, where he has the island. Let, let me not misspeak. Super Mario World, where he has the island in the middle of the dinosaur land. Super Mario Brothers Three is where he has the iconic ships. Uh, so it's interesting that they would go with like just a giant floating like castle. Oh, it is! Wow, it is a literal giant floating volcano. <laughs> what? Is it rocket powered? Okay, sure. Oh, stopping those Koopas! There they are. That's that's them. There's the Koopas. The king of the Koopas. Oh, cool. I like that. Good job, Magic Koopa. Who's who's in the reflection? Oops, sorry. I wasn't sure. It, it, I guess it is just other Koopas. I didn't know, because I could see a world where this is being filmed by, like, a Lakitu or whatever, and so, you know, the, the cameraman from Nintendo 64, Mario. Um, so I was wondering if we would be able to, like, see him, in because you see it, like, very clearly in his reflection. But it, I guess it looks like other, other like, paratroopas and koopas. Ooh, starting off with Bowser. They're, they're scared of Mario. They, they want... Here's, here's, a, here's a prediction of the trailer prediction. They're starting off with Bowser because they know he's a slam dunk. They're worried about Mario. That's my prediction. Oh, geez. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bowser's really 
He learned a lot from uh, Gene Simmons from Kiss, didn't he? From Kiss! Because the... Bowser's fire breath has never been this powerful. He's like, shoots a f like one flame at a time. This is, he's got like a fire in my laser. Found it. Now who's gonna stop me? Oh, that's cool. It's, it, it's good. I, I was, you could definitely tell the penguin stuff feels very much, it, it feels illumination-y. Um, so it is what it is. The, the humor's though, it's funny, it's cute. Like, I, I like that. That's cool. So that's a good start. Good start. I like that they brought back the penguins from Mario 64. Yeah, I, I, the penguins, I, it's an odd pull, I gotta admit. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a weird, like, the first thing that I'm seeing of the Mario movie outside of Bowser, which, uh, great. But, like, it's a weird pull that we're going to, like, the penguin of all the characters. Penguins, huh? But, yeah. I, guess, but I guess it makes sense because you need to establish Bowser conquering other kingdoms. Like, and, and unless you're revealing all of the Mushroom Kingdom, you want us to show Bowser conquering other kingdoms and... You know, all the enemies that we tend to fight, Goombas, Koopas, Koopas, uh, all, you know, all of them are kind of in Bowser's army. So if you need to expand outward from there to an actual kingdom, you know, I guess, I guess like in the dry, dry deserts and stuff you have. But yeah, the, I mean, the penguins, it's, it's, it's an interesting pull. Um, they're cute, right? They're they adorable. And also, uh, it, so I like this idea of it seems like he's going from kingdom to kingdom to steal their star. You know, like the assemble the stars, or like that's cool. Like that seems like a cool idea, and it makes sense within like the gameplay of of these worlds, right? Where you'll see him do the ice kingdom, you'll see him do a desert kingdom, or whatever. That's cool. I like that. Mushroom kingdom, here we come. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, yeah. There it is. There it is. I think. I think. My, I think. I just proved my trailer theory right. Right there. Oh, remember? Remember that time, like five minutes ago, when I'm like, "Oh, they're starting off with Bowser because they're scared of Mario." I think that's it. I think they know. I think they can tell that, like, "Hey, Chris, uh, so, so, uh. man, man, Mario plays a great Chris Pratt." T <laughs> tell you what, Mario does an amazing Chris Pratt impression. <laughs> oh. Here we come! <laughs> Mushroom Kingdom, here we go! What? What were you aiming for? <laughs> Whatever you were aiming for! It's like, a little bit of here, a little bit like... <laughs> here's my shotgun approach of this voice. <laughs> the target's here, and you're just... It's like, pew! Every way but the right way. Oh, wow -er. wow, wow, wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Hold up, okay. Uh, this... <sighs> I, you know, it's... It is what it is. I, I don't... I guess he looks more realistic. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> I, it is... It definitely deviated away from, like, the iconic Mario look. And I don't necessarily think you needed to. But... It's fine. Like, I'm sure the internet has strong opinions about this. I don't quite understand why. Like, Bowser looks great. Like, he looks like, like ripped straight from the games and then like given an extra polish. This is like, why would you change his, him so much when you have such an iconically good looking character in 3D anyway? And you're already playing. Well, I don't know. Why does everyone feel compelled to change away from the cartoony aesthetics that work? You know, the Lion King live action remake. You can make live action, live action versions of like the cartoony characters and make them look great. I've seen it done on Twitter by like VFX, up and coming VFX artists. It's been done. Sonic movie, same thing. Everyone seems so scared to like lean into the cartoony nature of these like 3D and maybe it's something I don't understand. Maybe like there's a world where like I just don't understand this, this part of like the animated creation process, but like, I don't know. He, he, he looks like a normal Joe. So he looks, he looks like, he looks like Kirkland brand Mario. It's like it's all the Mario you love, but with more like generic ingredients and wipe the branding off. Like really? And, and I, I, I just don't understand the rationale for like, why? Like the ugly Sonics of the world. Like why, why? 
it just lean into the character designs as everyone knows them. Then you don't have to worry about like, oh, what's the internet gonna think? Cause guess what? You did the, you, again, you did the assignment. Huh, all right. This is interesting. So, okay, as far as theory, as far as our theories go, right? Uh, as far as the theories go, this, this is clearly him entering the Mushroom Kingdom for the first time. So, our theory said that the cold open and like rough like act one of the movie is going to be Mario in New York or New Donk City. And that he will be introduced to the Mushroom Kingdom at like uh, like the start of act two or whatever. Like he's dissatisfied with his life, he's a construction worker, and then the Mushroom Kingdom allows him a chance to find his heroism, find his, his voice or whatever. <laughs> find his voice, please find a different voice. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that's not a joke. Uh, so <laughs> anyway, um, and here you can see, right? He's coming off of what is very clearly like a brick structure, which feels very New York city subway or New York underground sewer system. So I think, even though the trailer doesn't show anything about like New Donk, Donkey Kong, New York, anything, I, I think that we still are right. I feel like we have a good shot at this because we're seeing him enter the Mushroom Kingdom the first time and he's like, whoa, this isn't like he's always been in the Mushroom Kingdom. This isn't, um, he's established in this world. This it, this does feel like Mario's origins in the Mushroom Kingdom uh, coming from a place that would kind of resemble like a New York or New Donk or just more urbanized environment. Um, it's, it, interest, the Mushroom Kingdom, interesting. I, I would not have envisioned it this way. It's it's cool. Um, more mushroomy than I expected, actually. Uh, I think it it's funny because it reminds me a lot of the start of Sonic Two, where you see uh, Robotnik in the basically Mushroom Planet, which is also very heavily co covered with and populated by mushrooms. Um, so it's, it, I, I thought that maybe they would lean more into the, the kingdom aspect and like mushrooms are just there, but no, it's very heavily like mushrooms. It's cool. Interesting that there's so many floating islands. Um, like, so the, the physics are weird. Oh, also in the background, you see a little turret, uh, which is a very, like, it feels very callbacky to um, Super Mario World, where you go around the world in order to take down like individual, like, turrets, strongholds by the Koopalings. Obviously, that's going to be there. It also looks a lot like the Super Mario Brothers 1 castles that you run into at the end of each level, and then you find your princess in another castle. Nah, I guess not. Uh, in Yoshi's Yoshi's World, uh, in uh, Yoshi World, uh, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, um, you know, you have the introduction of, of kind of these, like, just white ball birds. They're kind of like big seagulls. Um, and I'm like, oh, is, are those them? Looks maybe like them, but that would be a fun callback to like a different game. Oh, you see some cheap cheeps? That's cool in the water. I like that. Nice nod to the different characters in the game. So you are seeing, so you are seeing pulls from the games. Yeah, like there is a lot of element here uh, being pulled from this world, which is cool to see. I, I like that. I like that detail. Do not touch that mushroom, you'll die! <laughs> okay. Again, is that what I would expect Toad? Not really. It's, it's an odd pull for Toad, too. But okay, sure. I'll, I'll go with it. Toad is comedic relief. Toad, Toad is a blank slate. He can be whatever. Wait, really? That's not what you'd like expect him to sound like? No, no. I, or no. like the personality. The personality. I, it's, more, it's more of a personality thing than the sound. Like, I think sound-wise, he's fine. Like, I, you know, it's, it's not as like, Ah, it's me, Toad! But like, no one would want to listen. Ah, it's me, Toad, the whole time! Wow! Hey, Mario, your princess is in another castle! So, like, you don't want that. But the, the like, confidence and aggression, like, that he has. <laughs> Toad is serving some confidence and aggression, and I would not expect that from, from Toad, right? Because um, he's usually like, Ah, princess, I'm here to serve you! He's literally an item that she whips out of her pocket to defend herself in the games. So like, bloop, and he's like, oh, I'm going to save you, princess. So like, he, he is a toad. He's a toady, like for Princess Peach, right? So to have him be like, you know, that assertive is, is surprising. It's surprising. I can see like a Captain Toad situation. That's interesting. Like that. Yeah. He and has actually, that backpack No, there. good, good call out, actually. Yeah, he has the backpack like a Captain Toad. So I, yeah, actually, you're totally right. Like maybe it is a 
a stronger will the toad. I, it's 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 funny. I like him. Uh, it's it's not what I expected, but I don't hate it. Like I, you know, I think it's cool. Mario! Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come! So... <laughs> I mean, okay. So buried in there somewhere is a vague attempt at a, like, Brooklyn, New York accent. Here we come! Which is... Okay, so going... So again, that's a point in my favor to my theory, right? Where it's like, okay, he's coming from a New York or New York equivalent. He carries through some semblance of that Brooklyn accent. And here it is. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Like, I... I hear that, and I'm like... And I'm assuming you agree as well, Ash. Like, I'm not alone. I, I don't want to be one of those people who, like hate to hate or like pes like I don't want to spread pessimism like I'm hopeful for this movie I think Bowser is a slam dunk I think the world design is cool I think with Miyamoto helping to guide world elements here it makes a lot of sense that being said I think everyone's always been skeptical of Chris and I don't think he's doing himself any favors here yeah well you know we've seen like articles and announcements from him saying that like he's been crafting the special Mario voice that's that, true like you know, the, we're not ready for, apparently, to mm -hmm. give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Um, that these are just, like, take one polls, and then they edited audio around, and they've been working on this for a while, so yeah. it's not updated. Sure. Um, but, like, you know, you can tell that the audio's been edited, because when Toad's like, don't touch that, you'll die! Um, yeah. He goes back, and he's ob Mario's obviously supposed to be yelling, but we don't hear it. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Um, but... Good one. You know, it's I'm choosing to believe that these are older takes and he did some revisions because of what happened. Like what because, because of what happened. What happened in that studio. That's what I'm choosing to believe. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. It's it's tough, right? Because again Well, first off, I feel like if if it were a a sin of the polls, right, and this was only a few like this is the first, like, they know that a lot rides on this. Yeah. I, I, I could see them using, the, similar to the Sonic movie, I could see them using this as their test bubble of, we need, we want to just drip feed a little Mario, see what people say about the design, see what people say about those voice clips, and then from there we can pivot. Maybe. I, again, like, I, unclear if that was true with the Sonic movie. I know that that's, like, actually one of the big debates about the Sonic movie and like the animation cost and this and that would have been extreme. It's it, and and the, the crunch on the animator. So it, it seems to indicate that like maybe that wasn't the case. But this one really feels intentionally like hit him with something that they're gonna like Bowser. Like we know we nailed this. This yeah. feels good. This feels good. Now let's give them as small of, of Mario as possible, so that way the internet can respond have their reaction, and then we can, like, in the background, ah, hey, can we get a couple more line reads there? And there's a, there's a lot of things. Like, I know we're, we're, we're kind of leaning hard into Chris Pratt, and it, again, his interviews aren't helping him at all. Um, to give me the, him, for me to give him the benefit of the doubt. But I will say, I could see the challenges with the notes process that he was given in this, where it's like, we want you to be New York, but not too New York, because if you're too New York, that's going to be off-putting to audiences. We want you to be happy and joyful, because that's what Mario is. Like, he's always like, let's go! You know, all this. That's what everyone knows him for. But he also has to be a realistic character, and also he's an older guy. Like, he's not young. So he's a plumber from New York, middle-aged, like, 35, if not, like, mid... Like, 35 to 45, Right? So, like, on one hand, we all, as an audience, understand him as this character of, like, let's go! Oh, oh, I'm up for anything! Adventure! Here we go! You know, like, yeah, Mushroom Kingdom! Here we go! Pitch it up, man! Here we go! There are literal decades worth of lines of him saying, here we go! And you gave that line, and you did not. Here we go. Here we go. I get <laughs> not picking Charles Martinet, because you don't want to get, like... 
so much of the whoop de whoop whoop. Right, yeah. But like, you could just tell him to tone it down. That, that's the thing. Is the thing. I agree with that. He is a talented voice actor. You can give a voice actor notes. Yeah. Like, and they can they can adjust. Hey, can we get like twenty percent less less cartoon or whatever? Like thirty percent. Yeah. No, hundred percent. I agree. Um, I think that that was a bad call. Like, just in general, I think you have this guy who has been developing this character for so long. Mm-hmm. I, again, I've met Charles Martinet uh, in the early days of game theory um, at E3. He told me that he could not record That's Just a Theory, a game theory in, in Mario Voice. He's like, I'm not legally allowed to do that. I'm like, I totally get it. Don't worry. That was, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, no offense, man. It's, I, 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 it, was a, it was a wild shot, but I thought if I, if I could get it, it would be awesome. Um, no, but super nice guy. Super talented guy. Um... But yeah, it's it's one of those things where it, it's the lack of... So, like, on one hand, I see all the, like, competing notes and, like, studio crafting that needs to work into this one character that is a, a dichotomy of contradictions. Um, but at the same time, like, even... Like, there, there's no believability in the line. I think more so than anything else, there's no believability in the line. Really. Like, here we come! Like, there, it, it feels like he's reading from a script as opposed to, like, here we come! Like, I, there needs to be, like, at least some level of energy connecting the line and, like, enthusiasm for Mario to go into an adventure. It's, it's a weird pull. Again, like, just weird things to show off. And I, I don't know, like, were, were there test case? So here you go. So overall, I'm looking at the design of the world. Uh, the world looks great. It, again, not what I expected. Feels very similar to the Universal Studios uh, amusement park or like the, the Universal Studios, uh, Nintendo Land. Wonder why that could be. Um, but, uh, considering Illumination is owned by Universal and also that's that big, you know, push in everything that they're doing. So I, I definitely see that. Man, if, if there was any doubt about, uh, Princess Peach being like the, the ruler, like, can, Pe- can Peach be the villain? They, they would never. But like, look at this. Ah, yes, I am the ruler, and all of you are my serfs. Great, thanks, Peach. Uh, meanwhile, I like the little subtle rainbow there. That's cute. Oh, hey! Oh, cute. Yes, Luigi looks great. Oh, yeah, and the dry bones look great. Oh, that's cool. That's That looks great. I'm, I'm glad that we saw... I'm glad that we saw Luigi at the end. That, that makes me happy. That's cool. Oh, thank goodness. There's Luigi. Oh, boy. Okay. So wh- wh- what's the feedback been like? Uh, the comments are turned off, so I, c- I can't tell you. Do, have people liked this? No? Yes? Yes, no? So, um... Or is, every, every, is everyone in the comments going to be like, You're wrong, Matt! This is going to be the movie that redefines the generation. The general consensus is, This looks great. Yeah. Except Mario. Okay. Oh, okay, great. I mean, yeah, that's that's where I'm kind of landing right now. Yeah, that's it seems to be the general thing. Everyone thinks Jack Black did great. Yeah. Um, Toad is funny. Yeah. Luigi looks really good. He looks great, The yeah. dry bones look cool. Yep. Literally, Mario right now is like the least appealing part of this movie. Which is not great. <laughs> yeah. Considering it's his movie. Yeah, I... Again, the trailer reads as we are nervous about him. We are unsure about him. So we're going to give you the stuff that we know. A sandwich. And it's going to be the Mario sandwich. It's like he, a lot of this guy, little tease of this guy. And then eh, here we go. Let's see. Here we go. And gone. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they edit Mario as little as possible. Like they, they edit Mario out of his own story as much as possible. It's the Super Mario Brothers movie, right? Super Mario Brothers brothers luigi take more line hey uh can we get uh luigi to read this line please get maybe 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 luigi oh, I love luigi luigi's getting his day <laughs> hey uh thank you thank you for that reading chris uh let's, let's let's get a safety of uh luigi in the studio to do this one as well just, uh, just in case mark mark was there it's the surly other brother uh okay so uh, you have a, a couple other things pulled up for me here um top story is this this is uh jack black Jack Black says Bowser has a musical. Hey, wait, really? Yeah. Yep. Did they say Tenacious B? Tenacious B. <laughs> That's the awesome. Tenacious yeah, B. The, the Tenacious B. Uh, sharing his love of, uh, his well-known love for video games, where he says uh, he remembers getting started with the original Donkey Kong back in the 80s. The musician and comedian revealed that he tapped into the deep, dark insecurity that many film and video game villains have. Yes! Again! Did the assignment, Jack Black! 
It's true. Like we talk all the time about how Bowser is this kind of insecure villain where, yeah, he's like King Koopa and King K. Rool and has this like big bad like persona. But at the end of the day, he's he's the dad, right? He's this kind of like single dad and he wants Peach in his life as just his like counterpart. You know, like if you look at the plots of all the Mario games, like Bowser is just looking for like someone to fill the hole in the void in his life. Um, but he's like a loving dad. He's like Bowser's characterization is fantastic. I, I love Bowser. Uh, Bowser has a sensitive side and he feels like he isn't loved enough. Yes. Okay. So this is a quote from Jack Black at Comic-Con, San Diego Comic-Con, New York Comic-Con, yes. New York. Well, you know, I did bring some of my heavy metal roots because in a way Bowser is kind of a heavy metal rock star, you know, a big, strong and scary rock star. That's cool. And I did a little bit of rocking. I think you'll be surprised. Oh, oh, I think you'll be surprised to see that Bowser has a musical side. Musical side. <laughs> you, I guess you could say that Bowser's a music man. Did we? No way. Bowser has a musical side. I'm thinking after the movie comes out, I'm taking it to Broadway. There might be a one man show. Oh, that was a that was a, that was a wild guess on our part. Oh, did we get a W on this one? Yes, that's awesome. Oh, that's so cool. If if we, it, I mean, it sounds like he's singing. It sounds like at the, we predicted that he would probably have a duet with Peach. It sounds like at the very or that he would try to woo Peach with the song. That's it. That's it. Music man. Oh yeah. That's awesome! I'm, I'm very excited about that. Again, Jay, just can we rename this the Bowser movie? Just like the Bowser movie featuring the Mario Brothers. That's that's who we want. We want that spinoff. What else we got? Uh, Jack Black shows off more of his Bowser voice. Okay, here. Okay. Now a little Bowser sample. Okay. I'm coming for you, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I ruin your day? I'll beat you up. <laughs> Great. Go back to plumber school. I'm coming up against the best, the strongest. Oh, he's he's got like wrestler. Like I, I know he's talking about it as a um he's talking about it as a rock star, like a like a glam rock star in a lot of ways. But it feels very uh wrestler, like I'm coming at you, brother! I'm coming to your, over to your house. I'm gonna slam your head into the pavement, brother. Like very Hulk Hogan back in like the the 1980s. Um, if you've ever watched old school wrestling. Who 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 I gone up against? About Godzilla. I ate him for lunch. I'm the biggest, baddest turtle dragon alive. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I'm the biggest, baddest, uh, 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 Goomba? Goom no, no, not Goomba. Uh, Koopa, 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 Koopa's alive. Turtle dragon. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> you make me laugh. It's great. So good. That was amazing. That was great. He's, uh, there it is. Get, <laughs> cast. Hired. Hire that man. It's -a me. It's me, Mario. I. Did he, did he try? <laughs> I'm so sorry. So Mario Jack Black teases the possibility of Bowser breaking into song. J just saying. Bowser is many things, but apparently tone deaf isn't one of them. There it is, Super Mario Brothers movie. He oh, he he tapped into his heavy metal roots and take his show to Broadway. I don't know. I don't know. The internet. The internet better be coming to my video and being like, Matt, you called it. They're probably not. They're probably like, you were wrong. <laughs> we, we saw literally like 10 seconds of a very specific C. <laughs> you were wrong. Yep. You're right. <laughs> womp womp. No, I, I think we nailed this. I, I feel real good about this one. Um, these theories. I, I think, I think we, we were really solid with them. And like I said, yeah, I, th I think the general consensus, if, if that's what it is, is, is right. I think it's going to be a really good movie. It, you know, they just got to figure out Mario. Uh, <laughs> main character. Um, but the thing is, like, and I'm trying to think if there, there are ways to make that work. It, it was a tough job. It was a tough job.
Chris was brave to have stepped into it, but also I don't think I don't think he was really committed to like he was brave to to accept that paycheck. I think I think he was biting off more than he could chew or more than he thought of it, but maybe he wasn't thinking. Maybe it's like God. So anyway, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My thoughts on the Mario Brothers uh movie, which should be renamed the Bowser starring role. It's it's funny, going back to all, everyone's interviews now that I think about it, it's it's the idea of everyone's like, Oh, Bowser the scene stealer, Bowser the scene Yeah. Yeah, good. Please let him steal all the scenes. Um I'm very curious about everyone else now. Uh, I, I think provide. I think everyone else in the cast is gonna knock it out of the ballpark, and so they will help uplift Mario. That's my prediction. So, anyway, interesting. Let me know down in the comments below. Are you excited about this one? You know, is this is it better or worse than Sonic? Not just, not the trailer, like with ugly Sonic, but better or worse than like do you think? Do you think this one's gonna wind up better or worse than the Sonic movie? Uh, the Sonic movie is really solid. It was solid. It wasn't really a Sonic movie. This one feels more of a Mario movie. The Sonic movie felt like a, you know, it was a movie with Sonic. Um, so this one feels more steeped in the world. This, and, and more like Sonic 2, where it was much more leaning into the gaming elements of it. Um, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see, friends. Uh, but yeah, let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on all of it. And, uh, you know, fingers crossed that I was right. Or that, you know, someone gets just like, hey, let's, let's recast the guy. Why not? Just just make the movie a success. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!